Welcome back to another episode of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED lights. This is season two, episode three. And today in this video, we're gonna be looking at the just overall growth characteristics and just talking about a couple other things. So first off, you can see that the plants under the High Bay are clearly larger than the plants under the Max Bloom. And they've been growing like this since they started out. They started out all the same uh, when they were sprouted and once they got to maybe, I wanna say four to six inches tall is when you started noticing the ones under the high bay were growing larger. Uh, and keep in mind, these are in the same bucket here, growing in the cracky method, same nutrient solution. The only difference right now is the type of lighting. And like I said, I've been uh, changing the heights of these lights depending on the growth, keeping the plant tops the, the exact same par levels with my uh, Apogee MQ 500 par meter and let's take a look at a couple things here now I was thinking or initially that you know it was a node spacing thing that's which is why these look shorter but it's not the node spacing on these is virtually the same under uh, the max bloom versus the high bay here the node spacing is just as tight it's the same I've measured it with a with a tape measure there's no difference there the only difference I really see uh, that's a noticeable difference as far as size go, is that the, the the stems on the pepper plants here are just thicker. I actually measured this with a micrometer gauge. Um, the stems are just a little bit thicker, so this isn't just a visual thing, than the ones under the Max Bloom. These are a little bit thinner, both the plants. So, I mean, I've seen this kind of growth before uh, when I'm growing under other blurple lights, and it's just, it's just constantly the same thing I'm seeing. Uh, shorter suppressed growth with blurple lights and you know and this is the first one I've used where you're actually separating the veg and the bloom cycle and I was growing this under complete veg so I was thinking well maybe it's getting maybe it's just getting um, suppressed vertical growth because there's not enough red light so what I did is that I uh, I turned on the bloom cycle to about 30 percent so I turned it up to give it just a little more red light and see if we can get the vertical growth to grow a little bit more and then I obviously, when I did that, I compensated for the high bay. I turned the, uh, the brightness up on this to make sure the wattages were the same. And then I adjusted the heights to make sure the par levels were the same with the plant canopies. And then every day I check it and adjust it again. I just keep doing that. Uh, I also check the nutrient levels, making sure the, the nutrient solution level is good in there because I don't want the same repeat of one season where I kind of screwed it up. But um, Anyways, yeah, I mean, just look at them. I'm not really seeing any, I'm not seeing any more flower buds under the Max Bloom. I mean, they look virtually the same. I mean, if anything, I think there's actually a little bit more flower buds under the High Bay. Um, I'm not counting them, but it just seems like there's more. And it might just be because the plants are larger under the High Bay. But um, anyways, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm going to be trimming out both, or not both, all four of these plants. I'm gonna be trimming out, pruning them up to the the first split, the same node where it splits off at the top here, uh, where it starts to Y off. So I'm gonna be doing that, and then in the next episode, we'll talk a little more. I don't think I'm gonna be posting another episode for a little while. We're gonna give it some time, and probably the next time will be when these are actually starting to produce some fruit. And then I will obviously be turning the bloom cycle all the way up to 100 on this to give it the most red light. So we're gonna give it the best shot. You know, really hoping for the best here. I, I really I really hate to knock light brands, you know, the Max Bloom, I can't say that it's a bad light for, you know, I've been using it for a little while and comparing it to just white LED light, you know, simply white light, I haven't seen any difference yet. Now, if you're growing Mara pickles, it might be a different thing. But for anything I've been growing so far, whether it's pepper plants or tomato plants or whatever it might be, herbs, lettuce. This is the same kind of growth I see. So that's it for this episode. Short, quick, simple, keeping it sweet. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.